Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Money Saving Megan. Today, we are here to do another haul, things I need to haul. And I wanna get this stuff hauled, put away properly and organized, so for the seasons. And um, yes, I went to work today, long day, very busy. Um, if you guys don't already know, uh, Couponing for a Cause and I started a Facebook group Feel free to join, post your DIYs. You don't have to be a YouTuber subscriber. If you guys love to craft, show us what your ideas are. We're always wanting to see those amazing crafts you guys do um, with the items from the Dollar Tree that we show in our walkthroughs. Uh, post those, check out our pictures. It's open to all YouTubers, a place where they could post their pictures in their state or you know, whether it's out here in Orange County or, you know, in Utah, Texas, we don't care. We just are excited to just start this and um, keep it very friendly, clean, and no spamming and, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Facebook, Facebook link in the comment section below. So feel free to click that link and, um, you know, join us. It'll be fun. It's going to be a fun thing. So um, let's go ahead and jump into this Target haul. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump in. I have one, two, four bags at Target. Yes. Okay. We're going to start off with the gumball machine. Okay. So yes, I've heard all the who and ha that Hobby Lobby has different colors. I think they have like a teal color and some other ones. I'm not sure. I have not gone back to Hobby Lobby in a while, but I will be soon. Um, these are super cool for all the seasons. I can use this for Easter, for Christmas. I mean, technically, yes, Halloween. Um, I got one for me. And I'm, I have some fun ideas for Easter and for Valentine's Day. I got one for a future giveaway for you guys coming up soon. So, you know, stay tuned for that. And then one is for my girlfriend. I think she got two actually. Yeah, she got two. So these two are hers. So these two are for my girlfriend. You know who they are, but look how pretty they are. They're just really nice. You could do so much and they're deep. So you have this whole like inside. I don't want to take this off yet. Um, but it's pretty deep in there. And I really like it. So one for me, one for a giveaway. Two for one friend and one for another um, that could just hasn't seen them. So I'm like, girls, I got you. You know, I understand. So of course I look like a hoarder, mind you. If you've seen my video, you guys saw there was like a ton there. There was like at least 15, maybe 20 because there was two shelves of them and I showed you guys one and I bought one, two, three, I bought five. So I didn't wipe them. There was still plenty there and it's not like they were all for me and I'm not reselling. I don't do that stuff. I think it's terrible what those people are doing. Um, but I'm not going to get into that because I have my own feelings about that. My own rant about what people are doing and flipping them. I don't think that's okay. I think it's wrong and yeah, that's just what I'm gonna say about that. But, um, three bucks and that's the price they should be sold at because that is what Target's selling them for. So I gotta think of a safe place to put these um, so they don't get messed up. But for now, I'm gonna put them there so I can put them away. Um, the boyfriend's niece loves Harry Potter guys and I found her a little a little thing to put I don't know if I'm just gonna add it to her Christmas stuff but um a mini a disco I think what I'm gonna do is a basket themed Harry Potter for her because um I've been finding little things and she just loves Harry Potter so this is a wizarding world Harry Potter it's a mini disco light. I believe this was $3 as well. I know it's a little pricey for what I'm getting, 
but you know what it's for her and she's such a sweet girl and it's for a gift so i want to like add that and i'm probably gonna find some other stuff on amazon because i'm not gonna find it really anywhere else so the nomi three dollars look how pretty he is and i like the little um uh, snowflakes that he has on top of his head and I think I didn't get this for me I'm gonna add this to our Christmas giveaway so we have that and I'll be back with the second bag okay so this ended up craziness was on clearance but not all the stores had them on clearance the price wasn't ringing up on this item these were $5 and I want to say, is this the receipt? No, this isn't the right receipt. I got to find it. Um, here it is. So this wall piece decor for, um, fall, I'm going to put this up for November, November. I'm doing fall Thanksgiving month, fall colors. I did Halloween and, uh, we'll take it down. And then I didn't do the walkthrough. There, there's a whole story behind that. But anyways, <laughs> maybe next year. Um, I'm gonna decorate for fall. We'll see how that goes. And um, I'm gonna decorate for Christmas. So November is gonna have its month and Christmas will start right the day after Thanksgiving. So this is reversible. I know you guys have seen it. And they're going for $5. But I literally, the price was not coming up. And the girl's like, well, what's going on? And I'm like, I don't know. That means it must be clearance, right? And she was like, yeah. So the check stand lady gave it to me. Let's see. I think she gave it to me for 50 cents. Something crazy. So I ended up getting lucky. It didn't ring up like that at other stores because I went to see if I could get a few more to get more for a giveaway and they weren't. So it was just super random. I don't know, um, but I kind of got lucky because I wouldn't have really paid $5 for it, but I got it on that clearance price. So I said, okay, fine, I'll grab it. So I got that. And okay, there's a lot of controversy on this. But we're going to haul it. Noah has literally opened it, closed it. I mean, yes, he's 12. Ethan has done the same. And um, it's not, I don't know how it's dangerous. Okay, maybe I sound dumb. I mean, if your kid's putting their fingers, I mean, it's rounded edges here. It's not sharp. At least mine isn't. And I mean, it's for decoration. So most of the time, we're always going to have something glass. Uh, we're going to have something fragile out. We just make sure we keep it out of the reach of our kids. I mean, that's just our job as the parent. And I'm not knocking anybody, so please don't take it personal. I'm just stating my own thought process. My boys are older. Of course, they're going to mess with it. I let them both mess with it. I wanted to see like, okay, well... I'm not trying to say, oh, let's just cut your finger and find out if it happens kind of thing. I was there. I was supervising. I'm like, okay, we'll go ahead and open it. They opened it. I'm like, can you shut it? They shut it. I don't see anything sharp. I don't know how that kid cut their finger. At least on mine, it's there's nothing. The only thing sharp is this. But, I mean, even if, I mean, I guess you could by the corner here. Um, but you can always just fold that down. So it's not sticking out and then unfold it. Or you could just take it off and just leave it as a flap if you feel that it's dangerous. But the rest of it is not. It's all rounded. So, I mean, we just got to watch our kids. That's just the bottom line is just put it where it's out of the reach if you have a small child. Because, yes, I do agree. It could be dangerous for a small kid. But why would you leave this in the way of a small child or a little walker anyways? I don't know. I don't find it dangerous. I like it. I bought one. I'm not returning it. Um, it's $5. I think it's cute. I think what the statement is that it, uh, the statement that it 
is giving out is letters to Santa. Okay, so, okay, boys, write what you want for Christmas and drop it in. Done. I don't know. I just don't see an issue with it. Um, you guys can put your comments down below. Please be nice. <laughs> but, I mean, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. I mean, obviously. Well, what are your thought process? Do you think it's dangerous? Have you found them in your stores? Let me know. I don't see what it is. But, let's move on. I think... Maybe I put this one in the giveaway. Oh, no, no, no. Now I don't remember what I was doing. One of them's going in the giveaway. I'll just have Ethan decide. How about that? <laughs> Ethan will decide. Um, I just love him. I liked this one a lot, actually, but it doesn't go with my red buffalo check, obviously. But I thought he was so nice. He was $3. Picked him up. And all the hustle and bustle over these guys. I had to have one. Look at this, $3, super, super cute, nicely made. Um, they're just so cute. Look at them. I know he was kind of messed up there. I I didn't notice till I brought him home. Um, I'll probably do something to fix that, but he was $3, and I still thought he was super cute. So I picked him up. Okay. This is so darling. This snow globe, I love it. I bought some trees to go in here, and yesterday I hauled in my 99 cent store the, um, the snow. So I'm gonna fill this baby up. I'm glad I bought four packs and I'm gonna decorate the inside. It's going out for Christmas. I'm really excited. I think it's beautiful. And this one doesn't have the price. What did I pay for this? I wanna say they were, were they three or are they five? Now I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I'll put it in the, in the comment section. I have to look at my receipt and find the receipt. Um. These are super nice. Look at, they come off really easy. They are glass, they are deep. So I feel like I'm gonna have like a good little pretty display here. I might put some lights inside. I don't know, I'm gonna try to get creative with it. And then I got a couple of tags. So this one says to and from. Super nice. I like the wood tags. These were $1. And I thought that was a great deal for these. Look how nice they are. They're really thick. They're well made. They're wood. And a dollar. The other tag I got, because I just love the beads. This one's also a dollar. And that says Mary. I got two of them. And then, as you guys can see, they were a dollar. And I really like the end. So I'm going to use these for gifts. Um, I'm going to use them for tags. And then people can reuse them. It's it's nice. It's a nice little pass me on here. So I got that. I'm going to go get the next bag. Okay. This is my girlfriend's milk and cookies. She had me grab her one. I got myself the natural wood one. And you guys can see that in uh, my walkthrough. So I got that. And then I had this crazy idea. I don't know if it's going to work. I was going to put the jars inside the boxes. And I was thinking to put like a treat in or I've seen people take out the middle slats, which I won't do because I feel like it might ruin it or I would mess it up. And um, either that or I'm going to put like creamer packets, sugar packets, and I'm hoping to find the little cart for the like the coffee cart. I'm dying for that thing. However, it has not hit any of Orange County or LA County at all. 
I've went everywhere. And I happened to talk to one guy and he checked. He's like, it's not anywhere. We have not got them here. So I don't know if they're hitting other states right now. They have not hit Orange County. I don't know if they're in California at all. I have no idea, but I know it's not in Orange County this week or next week. And I know it's not in LA County. And it's not even at my sister's Target because I had her run go over there. <laughs> I'm like, get me one and ship it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's going to be a hot item because everybody wants it. And it's so cute. It's like this little cart. And if you go on Instagram, you probably could see it. it has the wheels. You could use it for like coffee. You could decorate it for each season. It's just so so cute. I just want to see it in person. So I did get the brown wood one. That one's already put away with the Christmas stuff by accident. I must have put it away when I put away some other things I hauled by accident. But this is how they look. And this is the white one. They also have a red one and a green one. You could go back and check my Target walkthrough and it will show you all the colors. These are $5. Okay. That's my girlfriend stuff. And you know who this belongs to. Okay, so Frugal J is doing pink and I think the golds and the silver colors this year. And at first I was like, hmm. And then I started seeing the colors and now I get it. Like once you see it, it looks really pretty. And I don't think she's seen this. So this is going to get going to her. I was like, I'll get it for you, you know, because she hasn't gotten it. She's looking for these pink things. I got her one other item. So I'm going to ship that to her probably next week um, and let her have them. They are $3, the gnomes. But I thought he was cute. He has, it, this is different. Because if you look at this gnome, look, see how cute. I like the shabbiness of this one compared to this one. This one looks like Mr. Coupon. Mel's husband, and this one does not, because look at the beard. But I really like this beard. I think it's super cute. I like the change that that they made in it. Um, I just think it's adorable. So I'm gonna stop playing with the beard now. I'm gonna put him under here under my desk so it's safe and I know where he's at. Um, I did pick up a bottle brush. This was $3. I am going to put this with a giveaway. And I'm also going to put a gumball machine in there. And the rest, you guys will just have to see. Ethan's working on it. Ethan wanted you guys to have the tree. I bought the tree. Okay? And that's for you guys. And then this is Ethan's little baby gnome because he wanted a baby gnome. So we got him a baby gnome. And this one, I was actually shocked it was only a dollar. Not bad, they're cute. So this one's Ethan's. Um, I did find this big bag. It's a jumbo bag and tag. This is gonna have Noah's gift. So Noah has had asked for like a bigger gift. And so I'm working on it. Um, I hope they're out of stock. So I was trying to buy it. So I hope it comes in stock again so I could just order it. And I know he's listening, so I can't tell you guys, but it's something really cool and it's going to need a big bag. He doesn't really ask me for much. My kids really don't, except when we go to the Dollar Tree and I'm like, go ahead, like you want chips, you want this, that's fine. But they don't really like, besides his hoodies, that are anime, which he needs hoodies because it's cold. And he, they don't really ask for much. So when he asks me for one big thing, I'm like, I can do that. You know what I mean? It's like, it's our kids. We want them to be happy. I, I thrive happiness when I see them happiness. Like, I don't even know if I said that right. I am, I'm super, it makes my heart happy when they're happy. Like all of us parents, right? Any one of you guys, I'm sure when grandkids are smiling, when your children are happy, it just fills your heart with joy. So that's how I feel. 
Um, I got this for you guys as well. I got the baking set to add in a giveaway. So this is for you guys. So that's three things you guys know are in a giveaway. And I really thought this was cute. Um, mistletoe kisses and holiday wishes. I might use this as a gift and put like a gift card in there and then put it in a basket. I thought that would be super cute. So that's what that's for. Um, I also picked up this beauty and this was clearance out too, 30 cents. I know you guys might not believe me. Fall stuff is starting. If there's anything left at your store, I know the freebie guy like posted like probably 10, 10 days ago, but there was a few things left. This and these, 30 cents. So I got them to use through the year. Um, you can hang them, but I I personally like the idea of what my friend said and put a candle in the middle. You know what I mean? It'll look pretty. And I like this green. I like that natural green. Look how pretty it is. So I got that. And then Ethan wanted this, which like I say, they don't really ask for too much but he wants me to use this to it's got it's a baking mold cookie press for cookie stamps so this is going to be ours I was trying to see if I can open it for you guys but hold on let me open it so you get all of these contents inside this was three dollars in case you guys want to know Oh, so they come with these. So you get this one. You get this one. So you get the little star and the snowflake. Here's the little presser. How cool. Oh, oh. Yeah, come on, Money Saving Megan. Get with the program here. Okay, this is how it's gonna go down. I like to bake. I might not be the best cook, but I can bake. Look at this. I can make sugar cookies and press them. I'm super excited now. I didn't realize, I'm like, okay, if you really, mom, you can make cookies. I'm like, I didn't realize it was all this for $3. That's so cute, guys, look. So you could do this one, and then you could change it out to be a Christmas tree. I'll just do one more. I know you guys get the idea. Look, and you could press them on your cookies. Oh, my baby. That's all he wants is he's thinking of cookies. Sorry, that's a mom moment. Okay, and then you have this. I can make little um, cupcakes and I can make four, one for each of us, and they could be little snowflakes. Isn't that pretty? That's cool for three bucks. I'm not gonna complain. I really am not. Three dollars? Yeah, three dollars. I did it. You know, for the kids. <laughs> and I really like these jars. These are, I'm keeping these. These are for my usage. Either I'm gonna fill them with something and use them in a gift basket or in the box. But I just thought these were so nice. I'm probably gonna change the tag from to a Dollar Tree tag that I have found. But I thought this was really cool. Cool idea, nice top. You can fill these with bath salts. You can fill them with M&Ms. You can fill them with, um, with honestly, those little nail polishes. Uh, from Dollar Tree, um, you could put, I mean, coffee, like a special coffee, ground coffee in there, and they can get, and you could put a little scooper, and they can use it for their coffee. I mean, there's a ton of things you could do with this, so that's what those are for. Though this, these two were three dollars for both those glass jars. 
And so yeah, that is everything that I have bought at Target. I don't see me buying anything else unless it's that coffee cart that I hope that I find. I don't know, guys, it's getting scary for me. I don't know if I'm gonna find it, but hopefully I will. I have really nice little idea for this. I'm gonna put flowers in it for fall. I'm gonna put this out in our decorations. And yeah, that's everything I have for you guys today. Not a huge haul, but I wanted to get that stuff out there so you guys can see a couple of the giveaway items. Um, I shipped out all the packages except for one. And this is the problem. Like I had to change out my phone and I, I can't find the, I got to go back through my videos and see who won that giveaway because I shipped out the rest and now I can't remember and I that's my goof. So I'm gonna start a system if I'm doing more than one giveaways. When that winner gets called, I'm gonna write their name down and put it in the bag in the giveaway area I have. And then I know when I package it, it goes to that person and they'll already have the address on it and I'm gonna do it immediately. So I'm missing one. So I gotta go back to my video to that giveaway and then see who I picked and then go back to my emails and figure out if that person had responded or not or did I get an email? I hope I don't mess that up. Everybody else's stuff is out. So I gotta get a little more organized. I think I kinda overwhelmed myself by accident and I don't know, I mean, we're human, right? I'm not perfect. But I will figure that out. So I'm going to go back to my videos um, tomorrow and then double check that giveaway. And then I also emailed one person that I think it belongs to, but I haven't heard back. So maybe I was wrong. Um, other than that, you guys, you're awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna have so much fun. I have some walkthroughs planned of stories I wanna go back to. Um, and it's gonna be good. We're excited. Ethan wants to roll with mom. So he'll be able to help me out because he's got the eye. <laughs> he sees things I don't, he's at another level, you know? So um, I think it'll be really fun. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, for all the subscribers, I met a few of you guys like randomly and it's been so awesome to meet you guys. It's so much fun. I love meeting you guys. And if you guys are cool with it, I'm always cool with taking a picture, post it on Instagram. I always ask. I don't do anything without asking. I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable because I wouldn't want anyone to make me feel uncomfortable. So I, I would, you know, ask like they want to ask so just you know feel free to approach me a few people have and it's really awesome so yeah i'm just having so much fun and i'm gonna see you guys really soon on the next video bye